Hello, ocean people. Welcome to Monterey, California. I'm at the breakwater, as you can see here, and I'm going to be testing the Sea Life Micro 3.0 underwater camera. So let's sit down, let's take a look at some of the features and some shooting tips for getting the camera in the water. I'm Brent Durand from the Brent Durand Underwater YouTube channel for learning underwater photography. So here's another view of Monterey. We're looking down at the dive site, one of my local dive sites, which is why we came here today. Got to get in the water in between our big international trips. But you've got all the diving along this breakwater and then a nice backdrop with Cannery Row in Monterey. So the photo tips we want to talk about are one, filling the frame with your subject, getting in close to create a nice crisp image. Two is to shoot up into the lighter water instead of shooting at a horizontal or a downward angle. And then the third thing we're going to do is take a look at that manual white balance versus one of the regular scene modes. So that should be really interesting and keep an eye out for the underwater footage where we compare some of those things. And now for the fun part. Here's how I've got the camera set up. The Micro 3.0 is on a Flex Connect tray and handle system, which allows me to keep it very stable along with a 3000F light, the Sea Dragon 3000F light, which will light my scenes for anything close focus and close to the camera. I'm going to be using this to create great color in the scene. I've also added two extra arm extensions to give me a lot of range of motion in positioning my light from different angles, which will help me get the perfect light on the subject. If I was getting this as a kit with the Micro 3.0, we would get the tray and handle and then the light without the arms, but I've added these two arms extra to give me that mobility. The other thing you could bring if you're really into the manual white balance is a white balance card. Now I'm going to leave this here in the car and I'm going to try and white balance on some white sand or something like that because that's more practical and realistic if we're out there and diving. So anyways, it's getting hot in the sun, let's go get in the water. Welcome below the surface. In this shot, I found a piece of giant kelp and watch the composition change as I get low and shoot up into the water column. Same with this blue rockfish. We're shooting up towards a jellyfish into the lighter water. We also want to get very close to the subject to fill the frame with the subject. We'll get as much detail as possible by doing that and create an exciting image. These Dendronotus iris nudibranchs are pretty fierce hunters. Watch out. And here I am setting the manual white balance using the shortcut button. Just a few clicks and we're set. I'm also using an area of white sand to set that white balance, which is really easy to do if you don't want to carry a white balance card. If you don't like the color you're seeing, simply find a different spot or do the white balance at a different angle and you'll see a different color variation. Here you can see the obvious differences between the green white balance and the manual white balance. I'm diving with the Sea Dragon 3000 F light and this is why. You'll see much brighter color, better color, and contrast using the light. So I always bring one to two lights when I've got my camera. Woo, that was a fun dive. So lots of highlights there, um, but basically 90 minute dive. I would have to say the Dendronotus iris nudibranch on the tube anemone, those were pretty fun. There's tons of them down there. So hopefully that gives a good overview of the Micro 3.0. The manual white balance worked really well, delivered really lifelike colors. Sometimes we don't realize that that kelp is actually a, a brown color instead of the green or blue we usually see in videos. So anyways, I thought it worked really well. I ended up using a lot of the, the green water white balance along with the external light when I was using that light in the foreground. So just a few tips based on diving here at the breakwater in Monterey. So thanks for joining me on that dive. Hopefully you guys will join on the next one and I'll see you in the next video.